This is Jack Doherty. Where's your mom? Don't ask about my mom, dog. Exactly. She's dead. Exactly. And so is mine. Why Good. The fuck? Your mom deserves to be dead. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Is your mom dead? No, she's not. There's no way. I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably already aware of this guy in some capacity. He was that kid that went on Logan Paul's podcast when he was like 15 or something and just spent the entire time talking about how much money he had made. I bought a house. Uh, sir, how is that possible? You're 12. It's, it's, Let me ask you a question. Yeah. And I want you to be honest with me. Yeah. How much money have you made from YouTube at 15 years old? Take a guess. I'll say higher or lower. Okay, great. Wow. Wow. You've been PR trained. You've been yeah. media trained. All right, listen. Yo, look at God's Half a million dollars. Higher. You've made more than this 15 year old kid has made more than $182,000. A little higher. At least that's the only place that I had really seen him. He's like one of those hype beast prankster dudes that's just constantly spending money on stupid stuff. Not normally my cup of tea when it comes to content preferences. But recently, he's been getting pushed to my feed quite a bit for some reason. I first started seeing Jack pop up like a couple months ago. It was right around the time that I made my video on FoosyTube, where I predicted that something bad was going to happen if Foosy he continued on the path that he was taking, which I think we all know how that turned out for him. There's a gun to my head right now. There's a gun to my head. Help, ma'am, 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 he left. Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Help, help, get them. Help, bye. Ma'am, intercontinental, what's my room number? Help, tell me. 2027. I literally told him, if I see you, I'm sticking a knife nine inches in your neck and I'm sliding it down your penis. You guys are dumb as fuck, man. Hey, free Fousey! Hashtag free Fousey! Have any drugs on you? No. Weapons? No. Nothing that can hurt me? No. I got a big penis. It could hurt you a lot. Literally, like, the same day or the day after I uploaded that video, I, I can't really remember. It was really close to the upload date. Fousey was still streaming, obviously, at the time. And he decided that he wanted to go hang out with Jack Doherty and these guys named the Island Boys. I tried to look into these guys a little bit, and, um, I'm good. And while he was at Jack's mansion, things got a bit heated, to say the least. Fousey seemed to be quite annoyed by Jack. I feel like it could be interpreted almost as jealousy in a way, but I really don't know. I'm not trying to get into all that right now. Fousey started confronting Jack almost immediately, asking him if his pranks were fake. This is your house? Yeah. You're doing it like this? Yeah. What the fuck do you do? That's your Lamborghini? Yeah. That's your McLaren? Yeah. This is your house? Yeah. Good fucking shit, dog. Yeah. Why can I never I, get I wasn't good smart shit? with my money. I wasn't smart. Good shit at 19. Yeah. What kind of content Jack do you do? Uh... <laughs> Fire. You do real things or fake pranks? Be honest. Yeah, it depends on the They're fake as shit. Be honest. Own that shit. Own it. Your pranks are fake. Hey, I give away money to They're not real. Your pranks are fake. I had enough balls to say it. You're 19. Own your shit. Fousey seemed almost irritated that Jack wouldn't give a straight answer to this question. He would only say things like, Some are fake, man, and some aren't. Like, what do you want me to say? It's really not that deep. I said some of them aren't. Some of them aren't. Which ones are real? Show me a real prank right now. Not when they give you money. It is that deep. Which, it's really not, if you really look into it, just slightly. I feel like one quick look at his channel will give you all the info you need on whether or not this stuff is fake or not. Fousey escalates the situation even more by accusing not only Jack, but all of his friends of doing various drugs and doing other things that I'm not gonna get into because that's not really important. All you fucks are, you guys got money and you think you're the shit, I don't care how many bitches you're fucking. I don't care how much coke you're doing. I don't care how much molly's you're popping. I don't care how many MGF your bank account. This is all before he even enters the house, by the way. They're still on the front lawn. But since this video isn't about Fousey, I won't go into everything he did that night, because it's a lot. But just know that the night ended with Jack Doherty being spit on and slapped in the face by Fousey 2. And Jack did almost nothing about it, and apparently neither did his security, which is both absolutely hilarious and really crazy, to be honest. Like, what are these guys doing? I feel like their only job is to prevent something like this from happening, and they've failed. It seems like this house is just like the home base for all of Jack's recent controversy. He seems to just get assaulted a lot in his own home. Recently, Jack, who streams all of this stuff on his kick channel, by the way, had another one of his large influencer parties, I guess. And at this party, he decided to invite a few, um, what's a better word for stripper? Burlesque queen. That's pretty good. How the fuck do you even say that word? Ekdesiest?
Ecdesiest. Ecdesiest. Jack invited some bump and grinders into his home to, I guess, help entertain the guests? But midway through this party, one of them starts getting upset. She keeps screaming about someone stealing her sweatshirt. Why is my Chrome Heart hoodie out of my bag? I don't understand. Where is it? Somebody's Our stuff was in the room and my Chrome Heart hoodie is gone. This leads to her eventually accusing Jack of being the one that stole it, which I don't know if you've seen this house or the views that this guy gets, but I don't think he's in a position where he needs to be stealing other people's clothes. He even says that he has that sweatshirt already, just in another color. Well, who do you got? I don't need your fucking hoodie. I actually have the same hoodie as Fred. But that doesn't matter because the woman's security or her friend, or, I mean, I, I don't know, whoever this guy is. So it's getting in Jack's face and telling him that he needs to figure out who stole the sweatshirt. So where her shit at? Fuck really you mean? Bro, are, you good? are you lost? You good? No, her shit missing. What you mean? It's not you think I game. took your fucking hoodie? Well, somebody don't fucking fucking Bro, there's figure no way you're pressing me no, about the hoodie. Out. There's no way. Figure it out. There's no way. Figure it out. It sounds like you took the hoodie. It gets to the point where he practically yeah. chases Jack out of the room. I also noticed some people in the comments saying that they think that this is all just like a, a ploy to get him out of the room so they can start stealing stuff, but I don't have any proof, so I'm gonna say they allegedly stole stuff. And then when Jack's going downstairs to get his security, he gets absolutely bombarded by people screaming at him. You think I took the fucking chrome heart no. There's this random girl that just keeps showing up calling him weird in the background. His Wait, viewers, shit. he's a fucking weirdo. Get out of my house. Get out of your house. We got invited over here. Like, Yo, stay out of everyone's rooms. Like, well, I need my shit. You better shut the Close fuck the door, up. The fucking you better shut the fuck Yo, up. Yo, there's a cat in that room. Uh, uh, Close see? the fucking door. That's all you care about. You just want to yeah, record bitch, you're everything. Lying. You're weird as fuck. Stop talking. Shut the fuck up. He is weird Look as fuck. Look at the camera. I broke the camera out of here before the camera gets motherfucking broken. I'm not motherfucking playing. Alright, cool, yeah, we'll, we'll just, uh... Cool, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, you, I fucking... She's very annoying. Jack then proceeds to try and kick them out. That's when all hell breaks loose. Hey, no one in this house, we all make more in a day than you make in a, in a whole, your whole life. So we don't need to take your bitch ass hoodie. You're weird too, you kept trying to go at my girlfriend. You kept trying to take her. She didn't want you. You're weird, bro, you're fucking weird. No, all y'all can leave. Yeah, walking out with no bitches. That's right. And Jack's response to all this happening is very on brand for him. That was so unnecessary, the screaming. Yeah, yo, follow me on kick. That was insane. We just got pressed by hella people. And then they leave. Stuff starts to quiet down a bit until about 10 minutes later. This dude runs out of nowhere. By the way, I know I just said some dude just ran out of nowhere. I'm sure a lot of you might know who this guy is. I don't. I, I've, I've never seen this guy's face in my life. I'm sorry. I have no idea. He runs in holding a sweatshirt saying that it was in a drawer. And as it turns out, that accusation of them stealing stuff might hold a little more weight than I originally thought. Because this dude, I've seen him before, but I don't actually know his name. I think it's this name in the title, actually. John Zerka. He walks in, saying that they stole everything out of his wallet. They stole everything in my wallet. No, you're not. Nah. Alright, we're yeah. keeping it then. You're joking. Are they strippers? Yeah. Yeah, someone in my chest. They're they strippers? They apparently took all the cash, all his IDs, and what? even his passport for some reason. Wait, what? They take just money? Money and IDs. And passport. These people are fucking idiots, dude. And this isn't even the most recent incident of chaos that Jack has streamed. Literally a couple days ago, this is also what inspired me to make this video, Jack took his stream on a trip to David Dobrik's birthday party, I think? But it may very well have been a Halloween party. I have no idea. Everyone was in costumes, but I heard them say that it was David's birthday as well. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Nor do I really care. I wasn't invited, so. It looked like a pretty cool party, I guess. Snoop Dogg was there. It was all going all right for Jack and the gang. They were there for a few hours, I think, just walking around talking to people. But eventually, a couple of guys dressed like hippies and unitards confront Jack about something that he apparently had said to Corinna Kopf during the stream. Kopf? Kopf? I don't know. Corinna Kopf. 
Now, I looked for a really long time to try and find this clip because it is so short, but here's the clip that started the entire altercation that's about to follow. I have a question. When did you get down into a stream with me? Kick stream. Why not? Why not? Ego. No ego. No ego. No ego. Fuck that bitch. It's just a fucking these two confront Jack about what he said, but realistically, this was just a conversation being had. Streaming, like the fuck? Yeah, I'm just saying. It's but, all good. Like I, yeah, I understand. I know it's but you can't, you can't fucking talk that shit. Well, she's making racks. She making uh, racks. No physical aggression was being shown here. At least I don't think. Although he did seem to keep putting his hand in a particular place that I. Feel like I should probably blur. Look away, children. Maybe that's what Jack was so scared of. Maybe this all makes sense, actually. Anyway, the security guard steps in, but he decides to escalate the situation to another level. The security guard tells the dude to just stop and back up. You said what you said. You keep repeating. That's all I'm saying. So now, what's the next step? Now, do you want to suck my dick or what? Like, where are we getting? But the guy didn't. That was a big mistake. He wasn't being, like, aggressive, though. He was just trying to explain the situation to the security guard this guy not listening really seemed to anger this security guard so much so that he he locked in he got into position and he wound up an absolute monster of a punch and decked this dude in the face just stop oh, tone stop tone stop trust me oh, oh fuck. now i'll say it was probably a little much when he tried to go in for a second punch oh, no, yo, stop, stop. thankfully there were people there to uh stand in and stop him it was definitely a huge over-exaggeration on the security guard's part. Contrary to what the unitard says, I do not think this guy planned on getting physical that night. He was just trying to get Jack to apologize for speaking bad about his friend. Jack and the gang then start sprinting away as fast as they possibly can to their car. Yo, yo, he just knocked the guy out. I don't think he did knock him out, actually, Jack. That dude got up pretty quick. He, he... He took that punch like a champ. I'm guessing the security guard is at minimum gonna get fired. Unless for some reason Jack doesn't see what he did as wrong. I honestly can't imagine that's the case though. In all fairness, he did try to get him to stop before all of this went down. Yo, what, 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 chill, chill. No, no, no. Yo, just back up. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. I'm just saying, y'all say you just stop. Tell him to stop. Tell him to stop. Trust me. Tell him to Hopefully the guy just doesn't get, like, sued or arrested for punching this guy. I mean, maybe you should. I don't know. I feel like he was just doing his job, but it was just, he just did it too much. I don't know. I've just got a feeling that these are the type of dudes to, uh, press charges. Sorry for the, uh, chaos that has been my upload schedule recently, by the way. Had some stuff going on that I, you know, it's been dealing with, but I'm getting through it. Don't worry. Subscribe for more to come very soon. Okay, bye.